Hey there and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a, another tag video and this is one that I was tagged in uh, by Joss Jane and I also saw Melissa Villanueva's and I'll, I'll tag who the original creator was as well because it was someone else. Um, but yeah, I'd never really seen these sort of questions or at least some of them were new so I thought I would take the opportunity and do the tag that I was tagged in. So the Holy Trinity tag, you just choose three fragrances and you answer the seven questions per fragrance. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. So the first fragrance I chose, all of them that you're supposed to choose, um, the first question is the fragrance that left a lasting impression on you. So I made sure that they all have left some sort of impression. And the first fragrance I chose was the Roberto Cavalli L'Aqua. Um, and this is what it looks like. I've used more than half of it. And the lasting impression that this fragrance left on me personally was this is one of the only two fragrances I actually took with me um, when I lived in Switzerland. And I definitely got more there. And I've definitely worn more while I was uh, living there, but this was one of the two that I took with me from my entire collection. And I just wanted the fragrances. The other one was actually the Roberto Cavalli, like the Eau de Parfum. So I took this one and that one, and then this I'd wear more so during the day and that more so at night, but they're very similar. And I chose this one because I ended up using up this one more than that one, honestly. And I wanted, whenever I go to a vacation and even when I move somewhere else I try to have like a fragrance remind me of that place obviously it's harder to do when you're living somewhere because you're gonna use a whole bunch of stuff but I wanted this fragrance to at least remind me of that the beginning stages of moving and it completely does every time I wear it now both of them but especially this one just completely bring me back to living in Switzerland and moving and my memories there and yeah my apartment like just everything and it's it's very like bittersweet to think back because I I mean I wouldn't change anything but it makes me miss it um, and yeah it's really really sweet so it definitely brings me back to those memories and the best memory attached to this perfume it really is just all of them I mean like the really beautiful spring days like I moved in springtime and the beautiful spring days like going swimming and the days off hanging out with making new friends and hanging out with new friends. It's a very beautiful, airy, not super aquatic actually, just like airy floral. It's got jasmine and lily of the valley. It's not too musky or too clean, but yeah, it's a really beautiful spring fragrance and it completely reminds me of just those perfect temperature spring days where it's not too hot or cold. It's just sunny enough, but there's like a light breeze. It, It's so wild how immediately with those two sprays, I'm completely transported. Then uh, a fictional character who might wear this scent. So for these three, I decided to make it a little fun um, because you've seen I did that video on fragrance where I'm scenting fictional char characters. So I decided to make it a little bit like challenge myself and choose one film or TV show to work from and then choose which one of these fragrances match that character. So it's not just of all time, it's like from this one movie. So I chose Mean Girls. And this reminds me of something I feel like, um, what's her name? Karen? Karen Smith. Karen Smith would wear. It's very airy. She's a bit of an airy character. Um, it's not too, I don't know, it's not too sophisticated or complicated. It's just pretty and girly and nice and spring-like and floral. Honestly, Karen would probably wear something even less sophisticated than this, but out of the three, um, this is closest matching with someone like Karen. Um, and I say that with love because Karen isn't the most redeemable person in that movie, but kind of like no one is, and that's part of its charm. Um, but this, yeah, this one just out of like the three plastics, basically, I wanted to like scent the plastics. This is the most like Karen, because she is also the inherently nicest one. And this is just like a nice girl fragrance. Um, and then a concert, you would wear this fragrance too. This is hard. I really miss concerts. I wish they would 
be possible again soon. I feel like I would wear this to an outdoor like daytime fragrance uh, concert, not fragrance, uh, concert, something that was yeah, like in the spring and summertime, maybe that wasn't just like an individual artist um, per se, but just something that was uh, like a music festival that was very summery and just hippie like and not, I mean, not in like a patchouli kind of way, but just something that it was really carefree and nothing. Yeah, it, rem it makes me feel as if I'm outdoors in like the sunshine. So. Um, something outside like outdoors I think for in terms of concert and then a place you travel to wearing the scent I mean this is kind of a cheat I feel like I would like to travel back to Switzerland one day and bring this but if I wasn't going to choose Switzerland um, then I would say hmm maybe maybe like the Balkans, Croatia or Bosnia, by the sea, kind of temperate weather, not too hot, not too cold. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So maybe I'd love to go one day like Croatia or Bosnia. Then a song that correlates to the fragrance. This is really difficult. Um, I'd have to say, so I think I'd choose April Come She Will by Simon and Garfunkel just because I, I moved there in April and it's just kind of talking about the months of spring to summer. It's low tempo, it's sort of melancholy, but happy at the same time. And that's kind of what those memories feel like to me. I mean, there's definitely highs and there were lows. It's always difficult to like move and leave people behind, but then you meet new people and yeah, it was years ago now, but that that's kind of it matches the time frame and the overall memories um, as you look back. So that's the song I would choose. And then finally, the last question is, will this fragrance remain in your collection or in your arsenal for years to come? I wouldn't repurchase this or the original. For me, these have such a strong scent memory to that entire experience. And I still wear them from time to time and I still definitely enjoy them. And I don't think there'll be ones that, I mean, I haven't thus far, so I don't think there'll be ones where I'm, I get sick of them by any means and try to rush to finish them, but they won't be fragrances that I repurchase. So they've been in my collection for years um, already and they will stay for years to come if I don't finish them this year. Um, but in general, I wouldn't repurchase. All right, so now we get to the second fragrance I chose, and I chose Almond Harmony by House of Oud. And this one, the fragrance that left a lasting memory or the lasting memory around it, and the best memory attached to it kind of go hand in hand. This was a fragrance that I picked up relatively soon in and around when I started this YouTube channel last year, and it was kind of still deep into lockdown and it was like the first wave and all that stuff and I took up this hobby and I've really enjoyed it the past year and this just reminds me of that time because I got around that time and it was when everything was a lot more new and I was figuring it all out and it just was a nice, this was all like a really nice distraction. So I had always wanted a House of Wood fragrance when I was just watching videos and I decided to get one during that time. It's still, as you guys know, if you've been watching, the only House of Voodoo fragrance I ever owned because I felt like this was gonna be a very dangerous um, line for me where I just end up picking up everything. So I made a promise to myself to only stick to one and I'm happy. There are definitely more that I would love to try out, but this is the first fragrance that I ever wanted for the bottle alone and I'm not usually ever that kind of person. So it just has a lot of really happy memories of the world being in chaos, but me having kind of like a happy distraction hobby to go to. Then a fictional character that might wear the scent. As I said, I'm doing the three plastics. For me, this is Gretchen Wieners, not just because her father is the inventor of Toastal Strudel and this is a very like edible gourmand scent. It really does smell like marzipan and almond pastries, but that is part of it. It's also very sweet 
and sassy and strong and this gave me more brunette vibes um, honestly so I chose Gretchen Wieners and uh, a concert that you would wear this fragrance to this is always the hardest I feel like I'm going to I don't know why but it just screamed kind of Katy Perry to me maybe because I a lot of her music videos used to be kind of like cupcakes and cakes and like edible stuff so maybe that's why it's like coming to mind it's a very Goldman fragrance so maybe a Katy Perry concert um, and then a place that you travel to wearing the scent Ooh, this one's hard maybe I, I would say somewhere that is colder in climate I feel like this doesn't do the best in super high heat so not like a Caribbean vacation or somewhere super warm maybe I'm not sure exactly somewhere colder northern Europe Brazil I don't know why because that completely goes against what I just said but Brazil a lot of like Brazilian pastries are super super ultra sweet um, the like circular round ones and I don't know why but I'm going with Brazil so Brazil um, and then a song that correlates to this fragrance again this is very hard uh, the one that came to mind was sugar by Maroon 5 probably because of the scent but yeah it would be something more upbeat and that's the one I'm going with and then finally will it remain a part of your arsenal for years to come I definitely think so um, I am nowhere near denting a lot of this fragrance I've worn it a lot but you don't need a lot so it's not one that I overspray and I at the very least would consider buying more from House of Oud when this one's done maybe I'd repurchase but it's more likely that I'd repurchase this than the last one for example and then the last fragrance I chose is Burberry Her this has a last a left a lasting impression on me and the best memory attached to it is actually um, traveling in Portugal with my cousin not the cousin you guys know another cousin um, and she was just kind of showing me around this is where I bought a whole bunch of fragrances when I went to Portugal and I was visiting uh, my cousin there and this was one of them this was kind of my one of my last days actually because I bought a whole bunch of other fragrances and I kept putting this one off and I thought I won't get it I won't get it and I was trying I actually wanted the intense but um, I didn't buy it and then we left the fragrance store and I sprayed this and the intense on my coat and it just lingered and the sillage on this as we were walking around my second last day it just stayed with me and at night when we went to sleep I was like tomorrow I'm passing by and I'm getting it like I just need it if I'm thinking about it so much even after all these other purchases I need to get it so I bought it on again like one of my last days if not my last day and I loved it it's got incredible performance and it just more than any of the other ones um, this just takes me back to that whole trip with her a fictional character who might wear the scent so out of the plastics I feel like this is most like Regina George this is a very like popular girl fragrance I feel like she'd be the leader of the group um, it's pink I don't know it, it just it screamed much more Re Regina George I feel like this uh, from the three a concert you would wear this fragrance to I find this question to be the hardest um, maybe like a Bryce Vine concert that's a singer I'd gotten into uh, for a while and this just is like I don't know giving me off vibes of being in California and being at a concert of his so that I think of Bryce Vine and then question five is a place you travel to wearing the scent again if I weren't to choose Portugal obviously which I did already yeah I think like Southern California LA probably around LA he has a song called um, like La La Land or something like that so I don't know why it just kind of reminds me of, of that so maybe LA and then um, a song that correlates to the fragrance I mean other than Bryce Vine I would say maybe it gives me off a little bit of Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift a little bit of that just it's romantic but it's strong like the character or like she's not like feeble in that song so yeah I would choose Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift 
and then will it remain as part of your arsenal for years to come? Final question, absolutely. I love this fragrance. I wear it all the time. Um, there's a lot of people in my life that actually don't like this fragrance, so I wear it less than I personally would like to um, because when I'm around them, it's just not their vibe, which I don't understand because I feel like it's beautiful, like synthetic strawberries and cream. But uh, to not annoy them all the time, um, I don't wear it as much as I'd like to. But when I finish this, I would love to actually get the Intense this time around rather than getting this. They're just a little bit different. And I think from memory, I preferred the Intense a little bit more. So yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna have it in my collection for years to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these fragrances or you'd like to. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.